Welcome to the full service video on the Renault Traffic Vauxhall Vivaro Nissan Prima Star 2 litre diesel. The sump plug takes a 5 16 square socket. And the oil filter housing is also located at the bottom of the engine. The size is 27 mil. Now this filter was quite stuck in the housing top and what I didn't notice at the time was the large spring that popped out. So the, the top mount is still stuck in the filter and we'll need to squeeze the spring back in before we replace the housing top. Replace the rubber o-ring on the housing now in order to get the mount out of the top of the filter I actually had to cut the filter Part, it was so stuck in there. Now, don't forget when refitting the filter into the housing, if your housing assembly has come apart the same way as this, don't forget to put the large spring back in there. It's quite difficult. I did have to take the whole assembly and press it against a wall using quite a lot of effort to get it to go back in. Refit the filter and tighten to 25 newton meters. Make sure that you do screw in by hand because it's quite easy to cross thread these. As you can see, that's actually in at the wrong angle. And now it's in at the right angle. The sump plug washer stayed stuck to the sump, so we'll knock that off, get a new one fitted. We didn't have the exact same type, but we've got a good fit here. Refit the sump plug and new washer and tighten to 44 newton meters. Now give everything a good clean as this will make sure that you can tell if there are any leaks after we refill the oil. Now there are two oil filling locations on this engine. Now this upper one 
won't accept the oil very quickly at all so it may be easier to use the lower location which also doubles as a dipstick as you can see here the upper filling point overflows pretty quickly With an oil capacity of 7.7 .7 litres, you'll definitely want to use the lower filling point. Top up the oil around 7.5 litres and you can check on the dipstick and you can check on the dashboard the oil level. Once you've added enough oil, replace the fill the caps and start the engine. Once you've started the engine and got an oil reading, check the dipstick and top up as necessary to the maximum mark. So we remove the dipstick, give it a wipe and then refit it for an accurate reading. Now the air filter, we've got four T25 torques around the air box, one of which goes through the upper oil filling point. Removing the air intake pipe and the MAF sensor connector will allow you to remove the top of the air box completely and this will allow you more room to fit the new filter and vacuum out the air box if necessary. The filter does look square but it is actually longer on two sides so make sure that you fit it the correct way around and make sure that the edges of the filter are seated correctly.
Now for the fuel filter, locate it at the left hand side of the engine bay. Lift the whole assembly out of position, it's just slotted in. Remove the fuel feed pipe from the top, you've got to squeeze both sides of the connector in. Now remove the electrical connector from the top of the housing. Attaching the upper part of the filter housing to the lower part is this plastic ring which can be twisted round and this will allow you access to remove the exit fuel pipe and remove the assembly completely. So there's just one Torx bolt to remove from the centre of the housing. There were two options given for filters on this vehicle, so I'm just measuring up the new filter against the old filter, and it is correct. So we'll just refit exactly the same. Now we've got a new rubber O ring seal for the bolt itself and also for the housing. Now be sure to apply a thin layer of grease to the new seal which will ensure that we don't have any small creeping leaks. Another thing to look out for is the filter housing top has an orientation and it can be fitted in multiple directions. So what you'll need to do is look at the mounting point on the vehicle and make sure that the top goes back in the same orientation as it was removed from the vehicle.
make sure that the bleed screw can be undone as it's very difficult once the metal top has been refitted. Loosen the bleed and prime the filter until you've got a steady flow of fuel leaving the bleed. So we've still got air in there. And now we have steady fuel leaving. Replace the cover for the prime pump and then start the vehicle. The cabin filter is located on a housing underneath the bonnet. Watch your eyes when you are removing as a lot of debris will drop down. There's only one way around that you can fit this filter, but match it up to the old filter and replace. The filter sits parallel with the bonnet, so make sure that you've pushed it right to the top and clip it into place.